What are signs that a guy or a girl may be into you? For me, when I think a girl is into you is when they start like double taking, triple taking, quadruple, like they start like giving you those looks because girls are not very confrontational at, at all. Like you will find very rare ones that like will actually come up to you and like, you know, say something that they, they find you attractive or anything. But as a guy, you have to read the signs all day. Like if you see a girl looking at you, body language, that's the answer right there, body language. That's how you know, that's how you would know if a girl is into you, giving you the looks, giving you I type of body language. I was more asking in a guy perspective, because you're trying to speak for a girl, and <laughs> I wouldn't what? say that's for the, the case all the time, if they're looking a bunch of times. Maybe something's wrong with you, maybe yeah. maybe they're judging your, your fit, and they're just like, this guy's really wearing that right now. Well, and they're looking the case, like a hundred times to make sure. They're still looking. Not for the right reasons, though. I don't know. No, what I'm about only... a guy? What about a guy, though? Okay, so let's reset. We could just... No, uh, I'm going to keep it in there. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, because I didn't understand the question then. Mm -hmm. I guess from a guy, if, I think as a guy, maybe, you know, hop on if you like or correct me or anything. But as a guy, I think <laughs> if we show interest in a girl, like, we'll, we'll kind of be goofy in a way. Like, kind of when we're talking to them... We try to like throw jokes out there, or try to be silly. Oh, yeah. Is that what you meant by the question? Like what we would do? To yeah, with the guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. Because I was confused too. So. Because there's yeah. there's situations where you don't know if a guy's being just nice and friendly, yeah, yeah. or or they're actually just trying to get at you. And so yeah. You don't want to get the wrong impression, you know. I'm a very straightforward guy. Like if I find you attractive, I, like, I'll literally go straight to it. Like, yo, I find you attractive. Um, I obviously wouldn't say yo, but I find you attractive and I would like to get to know you more. Could I get your number or something? Like, that's like straight to it if you want to go straight to it, but... That's from a confident. Yeah, that's from a confident, but other than that, like, I think guys sometimes get jittery and like, you know, they have their nervous side of them and they're like, they don't know what to say because they're intimidated by a pretty girl. But I think goofiness and just like signs of being nervous is like... Yeah. A, a good a big throw off. I think that's the cutest thing, though. Exactly, it, start, it's like, a cute. Fumbling. So, so then, so then you're like, oh, and like he's actually, you know, c trying to talk to me, yeah. or he, he's 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 cute, you know, he's trying, or he's he's start acting goofy. Sweating, you see him sweating. The like whole vice time. versa for girls, as well. like, we start getting like nervous, or like we start complimenting you and stuff. Oh, that's my huge thing. It's just like I'm very confident. Like every situation, I'm the I'm the one to go up to the guy, like, hey, shirt up. I think, hey, I'm interested. Buy me a drink. Like, I just reach that mentali mentality that I'm just like, if I want it, I'm going to go get it. And you know I like you. I'm just like, I like your outfit. Like, you're looking really good today. Like, ooh, you've been working out? Like, okay. <laughs> like, your tan's really nice right now, too. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's just like me throwing hints because if I don't like you, I'm not going to compliment you. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to be like, anyways. <laughs> well, it's, I agree. It's... I can only speak from my per like my point of view that what I, like my experience I guess is just I've always been the one to like just go up and talk to somebody that I find attractive. Um, I I mainly yeah it is you know icebreaker I just talk about clothes what I like hair nails cl like shoes. So would that be a sign? Like, that's a that's a like. I'm not gonna go up to somebody if I don't like if I don't think they're attractive. So if I if I first come up to you, that's already a sign. Like boom, I came up to you. Then I'm starting I'm starting to compliment you. That's like I'm leading it on to like more. So that's that's basically it. Other than that, but for like the other question with like if like you when you whenever he was answering and said um, what other girls would do, I was about to say I'm so clueless on what girls <laughs> hints and stuff. Cause yeah, girls are not like a lot of most girls are not like they don't go up up front and you have to like kind of catch their hints and stuff like i can't do that because i'm just like yeah that's why i wanted the girls to like explain yeah everything. explain please yeah because girls are tricky like we can be friendly just because we're trying to get something out of you Horrible. Yeah. and we just want you to buy us a drink at that point or we just want you to like take us out to eat but then i don't want to see you after the next that's day that's tough yeah it's crazy. that's messed up man <laughs> that, is, that is such a that is such a controversial topic though because no yeah what if a man said that about a girl just, yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, no. They're, they're just but, trying to smash. but the yeah. worst part is no, it's not even about smashing or not. Like, it let's is. say we generally just do want to get like 
a meal at it or like a drink or whatever. Like the roles were reversed. We would end up looking like the villain, but the girls. Oh, you guys just would be looking like. No, that's not even the case. Like that, you see, and you want to talk about being sexist and stuff. That's sexist. Maybe there's gentlemen out there that like, you know, they know their worth as a guy. Oh, for sure. So they're gonna be like, yo, like I'm not gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy. I'll be honest. I was like that when I used to be outside. I never once bought a girl a drink. When I've been because out. they're not worthy enough. Once a guy meets a girl where he's like straight up, like she's a winner, I'm gonna have to do whatever I have oh, to do. Oh yes, obviously. But I'm saying like if I'm out and everything. If you have like, that mindset, he's probably not that into her. Listen. <laughs> listen. I'm just saying like if a guy knows his worth and everything, like roles were reversed or whatever, buy me a drink. Like what's up? I've had multiple times, multiple people, women that were like, I'll be like, yeah, like were you cool and everything? Like you wanna buy me a drink? They think they take it like in a weird way and everything, but what do they do? They still do it, you know. And it's just like, and it it, it throws it throws them off a little, but it gives them a little interest of like, ooh, like I want to keep keep you know I feel biting. Like that could go downhill because if woman, it goes downhill, then it goes downhill. A woman wants a masculine man, and that's kind of demasculating the situation. If you're buying him a drink, it's just like, okay, well, if he's what allowing me it? to do that then imagine what the relationship's going to be further on. He's going to think relationship's going to be 50-50 and, and um, she's going to be take care and, taking care of me because, like, recently a lot of relationships, it's like the girls have been leveling up so much where they've been taking care of the man. So I feel like in my situation, I would never, like, go and be like, let me buy you a drink. Unless he bought mine, then I'd be like, okay, let me get you on, get you on this round type so, thing. So here's my comment towards that. You're talking about being in an outing. Like in a setting where we're in a club, we're at a bar, or something like that. Why am I even looking for a wifey in a place like that? You're not looking, it just or comes to you. It comes to you, whatever. How, but how do you expect to meet new people? You meet new people everywhere and everything. You but can find a wife at the bar or something like that. If she's out with her girls, chilling. Sure, you know, it happens, you know, miracles happen. But I'm just saying, um, it's, it, it's not a sense of, oh, now every single time when we go out, like I'm gonna have to buy the guy the drinks or the food or whatever. It's just like, it's it's just a sense of like throwing a little bit of interest in there for them to bite the bait. And it's just like, then you switch it on them. You're like, oh, now I'll get you the stuff because I generally like you and I yeah, want Yeah, but you. the woman's being the masculine and you don't want to be the masculine in the relationship. And if you're going out of your way to buy him a drink and pull out the, the manly part of like hitting on him type thing, like obviously I'm already doing my part by saying, hey, I like you, you're cool, buy me a drink. Like, that's enough. But I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't. Personally, it, the way I've worked, it's worked out for me. It's worked out for me too. I've never done that route. No, clearly it hasn't because they're not in your life anymore. So Exactly, it worked out. For the better or the worse. Make it make sense. Um, I kind of forgot what the question was. <laughs>